tonight, but one member of the media, um, he's a Kelly man, Mr. Paddy Palmer. He, you know, he's double jobbing, triple jobbing, he's with the DEC, he's with 96 and 103, and what many of you wouldn't know is that he's also the, uh, what's the relationship again, Paddy, uh, with, with Claudine, your her godmother, and she's obviously Robbie's wife, and you were doubling as the agent for Robbie, and you had a bit of hard look there during the week with that deal going to Birmingham, and you know, but you know, tough going, Paddy, but you're, you'll rise again. I suppose going back to the, the poll of the manager, you know, and, and the media obsession with it, I suppose there was a few staff realities came home to me during the year. Um, I have a very good background team, but, you know, at times I'm giving the short end of the stick and, you know, we're looking at qualifiers, who we're going to meet, who we're not going to meet. So, the lad said to me, oh, Kevin and Wicklow, Connor, that's a good one for you. It's about 200 miles away, the rest of them are 100. <laughs> so, I go up to Kevin and Wicklow and I look above and, I said, the young fellows with me, and you know, with 20 minutes to go, um, we go, are leading, they're 15 points up, and uh, sorry, they're 8 points up, 15 men against 13, so, you know, we're saying, listen, we'll go way out of here, we'll go way out of here, and uh, lo and behold, the miracle happens, Kevin beat Wicklow, and who's manager of Wicklow? The one and only Mika the Wire, who has more all Ireland than the rest of us. So, what kind of a message does that give you? Um, I suppose, you know, in terms of managers, again, the defining moment for me in terms of management was, you know, the All Ireland final this year. And, um, you know, a minute to go, drooling, we win a free, and here I am, this is my chance to glory, I said. I'm going to let them all know who's the boss here. <laughs> so I head off, down the line, there schooling, and I say, excuse me there now, Daniel, will you just put that ball out by there? <laughs> and, you know, I think the picture tells its own story after that, so that's where the pole of the manager is. <laughs> I suppose on a more serious note, you know, um, Obviously, I'm delighted in terms of the success that we've had this year, but, you know, that's all down to people at grassroots level who put in the work, young fellas at six or seven years of age, bring them on, you know, at divisional level, club level and whatever. And, you know, we're very fortunate, you know, in Cork at this present time to have people, you know, at third level, you know, people at minor level, people like Brian Cockburn and his team who put in an enormous amount of work, John Cleary at under 21 level, you know, it just wouldn't happen without these guys putting in the work. Um, I suppose finally, from my own point of view, I suppose very fortunate. You know, I have a very good background team. People who work hard, who sit in the background, don't get noticed and that sort of thing. But without it, it just wouldn't happen. I suppose finally, you know, I'd have to, you know, managers don't win matches, players win matches. And I suppose. We're very fortunate in having a very talented group of players, you know, at this present time and, and you know, at the end of the day, as I said, these people are responsible for winning matches. We're into 2011 now and, you know, I suppose I equally want to acknowledge the presence of some of my former colleagues there, Teddy, Larry, Denny and Jimmy. And I know that we're into 2011 and I know Jimmy is telling Paul, you have only one, I have two. <laughs> so, I suppose that's the challenge for us going forward. Um, finally, I suppose I'd like to thank the sponsors, 96 and 103, Rochester, who've been tremendous over the years in terms of Cork GA, and I think as the President said, it's now acknowledged as the home of the GA. Again, thank you very much. And again, finally to all players, thank you very much for this award tonight. Thank you. I think we'd all agree, ladies and gentlemen, the world winner. But again, our thanks to all the recipients who participated in what was a wonderful year for Cork GA. We'll have waited to got in. Now, that concludes the formalities, but as it's been a Friday all night, and there's no one going to work tomorrow, we have a musical entertainment lined up. Sean O'Reilly, or Padre O'Reilly and Sean O'Shea, if you want to be here to sing a song, and I know that you'd all join in. But for my own behalf, my thanks to everyone who cooperated and helped us tonight. I've enjoyed it, I'm sure you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you all again next year. Sound of hope.